What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and welcome to part three of my Global Challenge 3 run. I have a more in-depth breakdown in part one. I'll leave a link to that in the description, as well as all the other parts. But basically, we're gonna set up with Moltres, or we're gonna set up with Gudra, and we're gonna go crazy, and the whole rest of the team is gonna support them. Let's jump into the battles. All right, we've got Gaujin Fire and Kingen. I don't like those together. Chiyu, Fluttermane, Dragonite, and Water Ogre Pond. Once again, we have a Howl Gouging Fire next to something who cannot be intimidated. Very scary. Moltres is not the way, because Moltres will never beat King Gambit. A lot of these games have been Gudra focused games. It's gotta be a Gudra focused game. What do they have to stop my screens? Nothing really. I mean, Chiyu Fluttermane can keep me to one screen. But Chiyu Fluttermane don't like to fight Gudra too much. Especially not with a screen up. Milotic is huge. Milotic is so important. But Ogre Pond is a problem. And if Ogre Pond's a problem, I need Sinistra. Even though I can't Rage Powder it away. Because Gudra does well into Ogre Pond, so I'm not like too scared of Ogre Pond. I definitely don't think it's Incineroar. They just have too many things that Intimidate does nothing to. And one of the two things it does hit is Ogre Pond, which will just blast me. And as discussed, Moltres isn't the way this time. It doesn't do well into Chiyu, it doesn't do well into King Gambit. It doesn't do well into Extreme Speed. Just because just Dragonite's so strong. Oh, cool! The like uh, the electro web in the in the cave. It's a good shot. Should have put a spider in there or something. Uh, Chiyu Fluttermane. Great. Go Gudra the Great. Maximum size Gudra. Not too hard to get. Just it was a uh, in Legends Arceus. It was one of the alphas. I didn't see a booster on that Fluttermane. Is that Specs Flutter plus like Life Orb Chiyu just to blow me away instantaneously? Uh, any benefit from Terra? Not really. Unless they go for Dark Pulse into Gudra. I think I just want a Heavy Slam and Light Screen and pray. Light Screen goes up. Fluttermane stays in. It's a big Fluttermane. Heat Wave. Gudra takes that well. Dazzling Glitch. Gudra eats that. For breakfast. Goodbye. Okay. One threat. Eliminated. Let's go. And I'm gonna get Reflect. If I want it. I probably do. But Chiyu still did a lot of damage. Did anyone see a Life Orb? I mean, I guess it's still neutral, it's still Chiyu, but... But at least Grimmsnarl took the double up. That's actually kind of surprising. Maybe the Fluttermane wasn't Specs. I should have paid more attention when it came in for a booster energy, but I didn't see a booster energy. I don't think it had one. King Gambit? That's cool. I think protect, reflect. But I should have been worried about Swords Dance. I want to set up a shelter. I want to click reflect. I think they would probably Terra the King Gambit. Like, you know Gudra has body press, right? And Gudra should be faster unless you're a speed-invested King Gambit, so they still could be doing it. Yeah, they are. Okay. And they are also fairy. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> They're gonna eat my Sinistra alive next turn. <laughs> but 
this means I can body press your to you pretty safely. And low kick, nice. That's really nice. I think I do go Sinistra, but then I want to hard out into my Lotic. They probably have Iron Head on King Gambit, but I've got the defense boost and the reflect now. I'm dangling the Sinistra in front of their face just so that they consider staying in for a heat wave. <laughs> And then I'll bring my Lotic in. Because if I brought in my Lotic and, like, you're, for example, Scar Heat Wave or something, you're getting out of there. Yeah, Gudra should take an Iron Head from there. Chiyu is gone. Thank you. And this is gonna hurt, but. Oh, it's just a shirt. Oh, on my Lotic? My Lotic's not the win con. Who cares? Yeah, that Sinistra was just too juicy of a target. Okay, Assurance, Low Kick. Presumably Sucker Punch. Oh, now they have Gouging Fire in? Ugh. I need to get Shelters up faster than they can get Howls up. Shelter. Life Dew. All day, all day. All day, every day. And then once I feel healthy enough, I'll go for a Scald Burn on the King Gambit. Should be in a good shape. The worry is... Heavy Slam doesn't do much to King Gambit. Body Press could get me burned if they Bulwark at the right time. But I'm feeling pretty good, because I can boost to plus six faster than they can do anything. They're at one and one, I'm already at four, so. Feeling pretty good. Another shelter. I think I want to Scald the King Gambit now. Because the Life Dews are mostly for the Gudra, not so much for the Milotic. I don't care if Milotic goes down, really. Well, I care a little, but... Oh, and I get the burn instantly? This is great. Milotic, you've been so great this whole time. You were an amazing addition to this team. We're fine. Whatever. I think I will throw a heavy slam at King Gambit now. And start to life my do back. I guess maybe they think Heat Crash is enough to take out my Lotic here? It could be. You should have some boosts. Reflect doesn't last forever, either. Do 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 do. Now throw something like Breaking Swipe, that'd be funny. I'll take the boost on my Lotic. I don't see that happening, though. Just another Howl, fine. Fine by me. I'm starting to chip down King Gambit here. And eventually they'll get my Lotic down low enough to trigger the Barry. But not yet. Yeah, Heavy Slam, finish off King Gambit. Gouging Fire is at plus three. Yeah, you're not. You're taking your time. I've got plus six already. 
Heavy Slam the King Gambit, and just more life dues. That's all I want to do. All I want to do is do the do. Alright, what you got? I'm gonna just do it. <laughs> yeah, take your time and think about this one, because you're not getting out of it. They go for Breaking Swipe? They're going for the Double Power Assurance. I see. They want to get Milotic gone. But actually, that triggers my Wiki Berry. <laughs> and that, plus another Life Dew, is going to get me out of the Double Insurance range anyway. If you even live the Heavy Slam, which was looking iffy. You did live the Heavy Slam. Oh, you just go for Iron Head? What? You just boosted my Milotic for, for, for no reason? What a play. What a play. That was certainly one of the plays of all time. <laughs> okay. Bye, King Gambit. Thank you for playing. I'm glad you did end up having Iron Head. Probably should have clicked it a lot earlier. And now I will just body press. I don't even care if I get burnt. And scald. Good game. Genuinely, good game. That was fun. And you got a good trainer card? Love it, Flobert. <laughs> Alright, I'm now on day two. And now I'm fighting Chiyu, Fluttermane, Torn, Glamora. Uh, with an Urshifu and an Ogre Pond. Lots of special attackers. Is Moltres the way? I don't like Moltres if that's Water Urshifu on lead. But if it's like Chiyu Fluttermane, that's fine. Glamora's not that bad for Gudra if I don't Terra. But an Urshifu lead again would force a Terra there. Chiyu Flutter wouldn't really. <sighs> it's a tough one. Um, I could do both. Grim Moltres Gudra. But... I guess what am I afraid of? I guess if I lead Gudra... Grim. I, I kinda wanna do that, because then I'm not as scared of Urshifu. I do want Sinistra, and I want my Lottic. I don't think a Moltres endgame would work, really, especially if I don't save Terra. Though I'm not sure who I would Terra here, it might be Sinistra, actually. And oh yeah, they got the Glamora in the trainer card, they're bringing it. Glamora is scary because it can boost with Meteor Beam, and then use powerful- Okay, it's Chiyu and Torn. That's still a little bit scary. <laughs> we don't know what the Chiyu's uh, Terra type is gonna be. Obviously, I need to set Light Screen. The question is what Gudra should do. I'm tempted to throw up a shelter, but, like, how much does that really help me? I don't think Body Press knocks out Chiyu if I don't shelter. But I, would I be wasting my time sheltering? No, I think I will shelter and light screen. Ah, oh, it's a little scary, though. Yeah, they do Terra. It's probably the Chiyu out of the fighting weakness. So then the shelter doesn't really help me. Yeah, it's Ghost. Okay. Uh, I'm glad you got that out of the way early, but I don't like what I see. At least this means I can parting shot into Chiyu. But the shelter was a waste. I could have, like, protected. Sunny Day Heat Wave. Oh, it crits Grim! That's awful. That's really bad. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I said I would probably Terra Sinistra. I think that's where I need to go. If I Terra Sinistra, like set up Trick Room maybe, and then start going after them. Oh boy. Heavy Slam should still do a de decent amount of damage. And I did get the light screen up. Terra Water, Trick Room. Put me into a slightly better position. Now if they just throw a Taunt... I don't really know if this would be a Taunt Tornadus here. It could be. Like, considering they had Urshifu, I guess it could be Dark Urshifu. But they also had Ogre Pond. I'm wondering if they have, like, Sunny Day and Rain Dance on a team like this. Okay, they just throw Bleak Wind Storm. Gudra dodges. That wasn't that important. I would have rather Sinistra dodge. Heat Wave double connects again. No crits this time, thank you very much. Ooh, and great damage with Heavy Slam. That's a two-shot. I love that. Uh, you went after... That did a lot of damage. I wonder if you're Specs or something. I'm gonna throw another Heavy Slam, but I'm gonna Life Do now. If Heavy Slam does enough, I don't think I would need to throw Macha Gacha when I could just be healing. I need to keep as healthy as I can. But mostly once Chiyu goes down, I'm not as threatened. The scariest thing they could have left is like Ogre Pond. Now that I have two water types that can't Terra out of being a water type. But it's Urshifu Dark? It's Dark. And they set up Tailwind in my Trick Room. Huh? That's an interesting play. I don't really get that. Your whole team was faster than my whole team anyway, at least what's been revealed. So even if you expect Trick Room to run out and have an extra turn of Tailwind, that doesn't really do anything. Three and three. Yeah, and it'll run out at the same time. You just guaranteed that I'm going to be going first. Oh, I want to Body Press Urshifu. And I want to Life Do. But they could so easily protect that or swap into you. But I mean, so? Yeah, they just protect it. Like, I get some healing, and then I get to attack you again. It's not the worst thing in the world. Tornadus is pretty much useless against Gudra, so I like... I like keeping that slot there. Does less than a quarter to Sinistra, so I'm healing out of there. I think this time, since only Sinistra needs the healing, I will go for Macha Gacha. But I'm still gonna throw a body press at Urshifu, because I don't want that to get a hit off. I don't think Macha Gacha knocks it out from here. And if they want to switch in Chiyu, good play, fine. I still hit the Macha Gachas. Hopefully, two of them will knock you out from here. Yeah, I whiffed the body press. You're playing around the Trick Room well, except that you set up Tailwind for no reason. Okay, another one will knock out. Do I risk it, though? When I could just Heavy Slam? Leak Wind again. Okay. They keep connecting those. Speed Drop on Sinistra. Oh, that could be good. If I have one more turn of Trick Room, I haven't been counting because it hasn't been that important. Yeah, one more turn of Trick Room. And now Sinistra should be slower. Definitely. So I'll Heavy Slam Chiyu just in case Macha Gacha misses. But if it doesn't miss, Chiyu goes down and I get to Heavy Slam Tornadus. Or they just swap and I get to double up into Urshifu? Yeah, that's cool. They really seem to think Chiyu is their endgame, and that's fine. Oh, does that not knock out? I thought this double up would knock that out. 
Oh, with the burn. Yeah, with the burn chip it will. With the burn, I don't even want you knocked out. <laughs> hey, Urshabu, just dodge out of the way of this heavy slam real quick. Nah, it knocked out anyway. Okay. Do they get into Chiyu? Sinistra's a little over half. I guess that could be a problem. They would likely throw Bleak Wind and, like, Dark Pulse, maybe, at Sinistra. Or maybe now they reveal their fourth. And they're stalling out this light screen pretty well, too. Their last is Glamora. Okay. Two more turns of light screen. I don't want to get poisoned on anybody, but... I might have to. Do I trigger the poison? I think I do. Yeah, because if they just knock out Sinistra here, which I think is probably what they're going to do, then Milotic only getting regular poison isn't too bad. But getting damage on Glamora would be really important. Because that thing just became really strong. Oh, and Sinistra dodges? Oh, and Heavy Slam O-Code? Was that a crit? And they're gone. Good game, opponent. <laughs> I didn't think that would KO. That wasn't even a crit. Good job, Gudra. All right, I'm in the top 1,000. Let's go. Uh, oh, Araquanid? Brood Bonnet? Oh, that's a cool team. They don't seem to have a Trick Room setter other than Fluttermane, though. Oh, they also got Urshifu, Incineroar, and Lando. Lando's a threat. Okay, uh, is Moltres good? Because Araquanid should have Wide Guard. If you're using Araquanid, it should be... Not just because it gets Wide Guard, but Wide Guard's like one of the best moves it gets. So Moltres might actually be a liability there. Moltres would have to Terra in front of Lando. I don't know which Urshifu that would be. They already have a water type and a dark type and another dark type. Impossible to say. But what I can say is they have Spore. So I need to lead Incineroar. And I think I want to lead Incineroar Moltres. Yeah, I want to lead Incineroar Moltres. I need to have my Lotic here. And then I need something for that Araquanid. That's either Gudra or Sinistra. It can't be burned, which is annoying. Sinistra seems good here if that's Water Urshifu. Gudra's okay here too. I'm gonna bring Gudra. I'm gonna not have Sinistra this time. I don't love that. I think it should have been Sinistra. But maybe Gudra? I don't know. This is a hard one. I need like so many different pieces to handle so many different things because they have such... Oh, that's a cool card. That's a good one. They have so many different pieces that can beat me in so many different ways. Like, it's hard to bring the right four. Well, I think I led correctly. I do have the faster Intimidate. As I should. I've spe I did a little speed creeping with this thing. I'm intentionally a fast Incineroar. I think turn one we trade fake outs. Uh, I guess they could be Terra Ghost and get a Spore off. In which case I should taunt. But if I go for taunt and they fake out my Incineroar... If they tear a ghost in front of Moltres, they're crazy. Yeah, no, that's fine. Let them. Now, Covert Cloak would be crazy. 
Okay, they let me get the nasty plot, and they don't actually go for their own fake out. They were covert cloak. Oh no! Amazing. I should have taunted. And they knock off my safety goggles. Well, I know what they're gonna do next turn. More importantly, I know what I'm gonna do next turn. Just taunt that thing and burn a sleep turn. Now they're most likely gonna parting shot off of Moltres, get into something scarier. Yep, no spores, thank you. Or just U turn. Maybe they're assault vest then. Knock off and U turn. Alright, who do you got that's the threat? Bring it in. Fluttermane? Oh, I can ignore that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Parting shot, shot off of the Brute Bonnet, I think. Terra. And then if I wake up, I want to go for an Air Slash. Okay, they're swapping that slot. Oh, so I get to Parting Shot off Landorus. That's excellent. I love that. I guess they're reading the Poison Terra and bringing in Landorus. Amazing. But uh, I think we're good. Uh, Incineroar should be able to eat anything from Fluttermane. Now Moltres should be able to eat anything from Fluttermane. It's just a Moon Blast into Moltres. Okay. I'm still asleep. That's annoying. But a minus one on that is great. Um, I could go to Milotic to threaten that, honestly. Now that they're locked themselves into Moonblast, presumably, that could be pretty good. Or I could have Gudra just threaten an Oko on Fluttermane. Gudra would most likely trigger a swap from them. I think I want to go Milotic. Keeping Moltres healthy is my end game, so I'm just gonna click Life Do. Either or both of these could swap. But I think Fiery Wrath is still good in this position. Like, a minus one Earth Power will do a lot, but probably not Oak oh, my Moltres here. Okay, Fluttermane swaps. That's fine. I guess into Brute Bonnet, most likely? Yep, that's Bonnet. And I threatened the Lando enough. They're going Terra Poison. Cool. Or Steel, or... It is Poison. Okay. This one's Poison. It's fine, it doesn't change how much Moltres can do to you. They have Nasty Plot Landorus! Yo! Moltres is still asleep! No! Okay, that could not have gone worse. Plus one Earth Power is going to Oko Moltres. I could Haze to neutralize them, but that would also get rid of my plus two. But it would get rid of my plus two after. But no, they would attack first. Um... This is, yeah, this is the worst, because they're going to Earth Power, but then they're probably going to Spore my Incineroar, now that its safety goggles are gone. Yeah, I'm getting swept by this Landorus. I, it's going to be hard to do anything about it. 
Uh, Moltres, why did you have to be asleep for three whole turns? This might have been doable otherwise. And now they're gonna get the spore here. Most likely they would spore here. If they spore into Moltres for good measure, that's fine. No, it's into Incineroar. What can I do? Melodic's really the only thing that's going to take an Earth power. Doesn't really matter what I click here. I'm going to go for Air Slash on Landris. Like, maybe they don't knock me out. Maybe they have, like, no special attack investment. Nope, that does it. Oh, Nasty Plot Landris. That's sick. Landers is already one of the scariest Pokemon for my team. And it having Nasty Plot, and it came in right at the right time. They like knew Fluttermane was baiting me. Oh, and they're getting a speed boost on that now. So now they're just gonna spore my Lodic. Ah. Oh. All right, well. Doesn't matter who I go to, it's getting spored. So I should go to Gudra because it has Protect. Taunt Protect. They could easily just knock out Incineroar instead, though. Oh boy. I'm gonna keep playing this, but like, yeah, they just move out of that slot. I'm not sure what I can really do about any of this. Next turn, they'll just spore Milotic and Earth Power Gudra. I guess if anything's gonna take this Earth Power, it's Gudra, but Gudra can't knock it out back. What's my win condition? Double Protect on Gudra, freeze the Landorus. Yeah. That's it. Okay, I failed the double protect. Earth power does knock out. No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. Good job, Nudra. You're tanky. They spore my Lotic. I'm asleep for one turn. I can wake up and get the freeze this turn. And I have. Would they just spore Gudra? Would they read the protect? I don't know. I don't know if it matters. My win condition is so far away that... Okay, they do Earth Power the Gudra. At least one thing went right. Now let's see what powerful grass move you have to just Oko Milotic. Just Trailblaze, huh? Okay. That's never gonna do anything. Wake up. Okay. Show me the freeze. Ah, oh, no freeze. What's the play now? I still gotta go for the freeze. And a double protect- it's the same play. No, I don't get the double protect once again. They spore them my life. They're actually faster than Lander is now. That's a sick brute bonnet set. Rubonnet is causing so much trouble. Oh my goodness. Alright, now, not only does my Lotic have to get the freeze, it also has to beat a whole team. Because, like, I haven't gotten a knockout yet. <laughs> oh boy. Freezing Landris is just the start. Uh, does this just kill me? No? Do I get my berry? Yeah. Okay, so if I wake up here and freeze, I technically haven't lost yet. Trailblaze is not gonna KO me. And I'm fast asleep. Okay, now I lose. Now I'll run away. 
I stayed in that way longer than I should have, but that's a great set. The Brute Bonnet set, the Lander set, that's so cool. Alright, okay, this person's highly rated. Great. Iron Hands, Amoongus, Fluttermane, Roaring Moon, don't see much of that. Incineroar and Water Pond. I definitely need Incineroar because they have Amoongus. Lots of great Intimidate targets, too. I actually really like Incineroar here. Really, their only special attacker is Fluttermane. They don't have any ground types. This is a Moltres game. Terra Poison Moltres, what stops me? I just intimidate everything, and I'm good. I like that. So we're gonna go full support for Moltres. Do I want screens? I think I want Sinistra. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna Terra Moltres, so I'm not gonna want to Terra Milotic into grass to stop spores. So I want another spore immunity in Sinistra. Sinistra's good support. Sinistra's good against Iron Hands. Good against Ogre Pond. Bad against the two Dark Types and Fluttermane, but whatever. And then probably Milotic. I don't see much for Gudrick to do here. Like, Gudrick could set up defense boosts because they have so much physical, but I'm not too worried about that. I think I will bring Milotic. Grimmsnarl could be fine, too. Honestly, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Milotic. Just for more healing. Just full support for this Moltres. And I don't think I need the screens. As long as I can intimidate stuff and it doesn't start swords dancing. Ah, oh, no trainer card. If they have like clear amulet, swords dance, iron hands, then we're gonna be in trouble. Fluttermoongus. Cool. Thank you for the freest nasty plot. The question is, of course, do I go for Fake Out or Taunt? I vote Taunt, Terra, Nasty Plot. I guess Mental Herb is a little more common than Covert Cloak, but neither is super common on Amoongus. My Terra's going first, so they're not gonna go Fairy Terra Fluttermane. That's interesting. Oh, it's like I'm so tank, but they didn't reveal an item, so they might not have it. it might just be Specs. Moonblast into Incineroar. Feels like Specs. And I'm boosting. Yep, fall for my taunt. Can't spore after the taunt. Now that did a lot of damage. Kinda wanna get Incineroar out of there. Maybe to Milotic? Milotic can probably take some hits. And launch a Fiery Wrath, because I actually need to hit Fluttermane. I would usually want to just Air Slash Amoongus right away, but I don't know if it even wants to stay in. And I want to do damage to Fluttermane. Fluttermane, get your ears out the way. Okay, they do swap a Moongus, that's good. Show me your own Incineroar. Ha! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Ooh, bad timing, bro. Thank you. Nah, Moonblast is gonna do too much anyway. Oh my god, it does. Why does that Moonblast do so much damage? I'm gonna go back to... Uh, I don't know. That Moonblast did way too many damage. I think I want to go back to Incense. I don't want to Air Slash that Fluttermane. I want it actually to go down this time. Sorry, Milotic. You got the plus two, but you got a wiki berry, not a citrus berry. Fluttermane, get your ears out the way! Fluttermane, get control of them ears! This 
Fluttermane's doing so much damage. Okay, I'm glad they didn't go for Fake Out, so I can actually Air Slash. Fluttermane is down. Thank you, finally. Are they parting shot out? So they've got Incineroar in the back, so I would love to have my Lodic in the front. But let's see what you've got. Uh, Disconnection? Whose end was that on? Alright, it looks like that disconnect gave me a win, so I'll take it. Uh, oh, Articuno, Ninetales, Frostmoth, Iron Treads, Raging Bolt, and Incineroar. So cool! Oh my goodness, so cool. I don't have any way to stop them from getting up Aurora Veil. But it's okay, I don't do much damage anyway. My freeze immunity is, I don't have a freeze immunity. I guess Sinistra and Milotic both have moves that thaw, and so does Incineroar. Actually, my Firewater Grass Core can thaw themselves. Who do I want to sweep with, though? Probably Gudra? Moltres would have to Terra, and then it would be weak to ground. Doesn't do that much damage into anything, either. So it's going to be a Gudra game. I think with Grim. I like Incin a lot. And also Sinistra or Milotic? <laughs> I like, I want Sinistra, but I don't know. Do I need to Terra Gudra? Maybe, maybe not. But then I would have to Terra Sinistra. I think Milotic is probably a little bit better. My biggest concern then is like Raging Bolt running away with Calm Minds. Calm Mind Raging Bolt is really scary. But otherwise... Oh, no trainer card. Boo! I guess I could change Sinistra... If I could have changed Sinistra to be Terra Fairy, I could use that to handle Raging Bolt. Okay. Snow warning. Alright, I'm definitely gonna Heavy Slam somebody right away. And I'm thinking... Frostmoth. I want to Heavy Slam Frostmoth. And just set up Light Screen. No Terras, that's good. The Snow Boost and, and the Aurora Veil is going to make you take, like, no damage, though. But it should still be a really strong move. And you're just throwing Blizzard straight out the gate. Okay. Did a lot. And that did a lot. I'm happy with that. Uh, I could Parting Shot out into Milotic or Incineroar now. I think Incineroar would probably be a little bit better. Maybe I Protect to see if they Terra something? I could rotate my Heavy Slam into the other slot. Because I do think they would Terra or Protect their Frost Moth now. Or swap it, okay. As long as this isn't a Dark type. Oh, I like catching that one with it. Nice. I would love you being weaker. Thank you. That means I'm going to have to start setting up shelters, though, if I ever want to do damage to that thing. And then I think it's Incineroar. Yeah, it's Incineroar. I can fake it out, I can Parting Shot again. Just keep it from ever doing anything important. Here's gonna keep Blizzarding. Yeah, I'm gonna get Froze eventually. In this game, there will be a Freeze. Focus Sash? No, just a Free Sash, okay. That's actually fine. I am genuinely cool with that. I'm gonna set up a shelter, and I'm going to fake out Bolt? Yeah, I wanna fake out Bolt. I don't wanna give them a free switch knocking out the Ninetales. And they swap it anyway, that's cool. 
It's a switch, and it's free, but it's not a free switch. Oh, it's Articuno. Well, Articuno, uh... I may be throwing everything I have into you right now. Oh, there are leftovers bolt. I don't like that. Leftovers bolt uh, would seem to imply that they are calm mind. I'm gonna heavy slam. And Flare Blitz is Articuno. Articuno is a little more threatening at the moment. And they're going for Terra. Is they just Terra Water or something? They are Terra Water. Well, I don't think, unless they're like Specs, that Terra Blast is gonna knock anything out. Because I have the light screen. Yeah, that didn't do very much. And Electro Web. Oh, no, you're not gonna be Calm Mind then. Oh, that's fine. Whew! That's great. Thank you for showing me that. Even though I did... Crit? Yeah, thank you, Ensign. Get a burn? Oh, the Rocky Helmet. Oh, oh Incineroar, you're not looking so good. I think I'll boost up with another shelter. I mean, I could bring in my Lotic on the Electro Web. That would be funny. But then I would like the weak to Electric, you know. Uh, bringing in Grim Snarl is probably pretty safe. I've only sheltered once. I should shelter again. And I should bring in Grim Snarl. And then I should be more careful about touching that Articuno. But at least they burned their Terra. We know they have two Ice types in the bag, so actually Incineroar could still be useful at the low health it has. Incineroar takes very little. Good. Oh, they have Calm Mind Electro Web? Ugh. Not a fan. All mind Electro Web Thunderclap? No Dragon Move, baby? Do they even have Protect? Well, I'm gonna go for a Spirit Break into them, and I'm gonna go for a Body Press into them. And their Veil is gone. Only five turns. Nice. So, oh, eight turns of Snow? They're Icy Rock Nine Tails? Weird. But yeah, I'm gonna do as much damage as I can into Bolt now that I know it's the real threat. We both live, that's good. Grimmsnarl goes down. Too bad. But plus four body press should do over half? No, not quite half. Yeah. That's icky. It's Insin. It, it's possible they don't have Protect on the Bolt. In which case, I need to set up to plus six with Shelters. And fake them out. Allow Articuno to take out Incineroar is probably what it would do. Like, I still think you think that's the big threat. Which might be correct. But I don't really have much motivation to even attack into your Articuno, mostly because I'm gonna miss or get Rocky Helmeted. Yeah, I don't think they have Protect. That's good. Yeah, Terra Blast me, go ahead. Flinch, I go to plus six. 
Uh, I can't really Terra my Milotic. That's the main problem. Is my Milotic faster than their Bolt, even? I don't know. I mean, how many drops did I get? And do I still have Light Screen up? But let's look at the situation. Their neutral special attack. It's my last turn of Light Screen. I should be okay. Body Press will actually do half this time. And I'll just Life do. I'm still overdue for a Freeze, I guess. But I have Scald on my Lotic, at least. If, if I have to. And they might not want to Electro Web at all, considering they know it won't KO and I have competitive. Oh, they Thunderclap! Great! That's excellent. And they Roost. Okay, Roost, Blizzard, Parablast. They might just have Freeze Dry anyway as their last move, but they're not the strong one. They're gone, yes! It's just your Ice types remain. But your snow just ended, so you get eight whole more turns of snow. And my light screen is gone. But I think Gudra at plus six can win. Just body press everything that isn't Articuno and save Articuno for last. Any value to Terra Fairy? None I'd be neutral to their Terra Blast, so no, not yet. Definitely no value in Terra Grass, because Freeze Dry would still be super effective. Right now I at least resist Blizzard. I'll body press you. I'm wondering if I should Life Do? I think I will, because I don't have any screens up, so I'm going to take significant damage from these Blizzards. Yeah, you can set your Veil. I guess that is more important than just throwing a raw Blizzard. They have Freeze Drive. Does less than half. It's pretty good. Now the question, do I want to hit Frostmog? Frostmoth is what, neutral to fighting? What's stronger, a neutral fighting move at plus six, or heavy slam? Four times 152 is like 600. That's like five times stronger. Heavy slam would be 240, stab 300, five times 85. It's just about the same. I think body press is a little stronger. Don't really have time to do the whole math. And I'm gonna keep hitting life too. Oh, those are on blizzards. They, <laughs> they're going for freezes. Okay, no freeze. And I'm faster than Frostmoth with my Lotic. Okay. That's cool. Another blizzard. That one's way stronger. Yeah, okay, that's gone. Thank goodness. Three turns of snow remain. Not much point in me doing anything but body pressing. And keep life doing, because like when I hit I'm gonna take some recoil. Ooh, that did a lot to Gudra. But I'm still not getting froze. But not getting froze is the important part. And you're not an ice type anymore, but you still have a more avail. Oh good, it does half. Excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and read that this is a blizzard. And protect life do this turn. It's a freeze dry good play. No, it's just a blizzard. Okay. Uh, 
Healing up, healing up. This combo is so tanky. You cannot break these two, they're insane. Once they get set up together. Oh boy. I wasn't I wasn't too sure, like I said earlier, I wasn't too sure about my Lotic, but my Lotic is great. Last turn of snow. I might as well throw a body press even though it could miss. And I'll keep life doing just in case I do miss. Or in case Guja freezes. Still no freeze. Okay. I think we're good. This should be the last turn, but Snowcloak can be like that sometimes. We know the Rocky Helmet, not Bright Powder. Oh, Snowcloak be like that. Okay, they can't dodge the next one. The snow is finally over. And Aurora Veil's gone. Wait, the snow's not gone? Oh, right, they have, they have Icy Rock. Ah. Uh. Well, then I need to keep trying to hit body press, I need to keep life doing, and they need to keep going for freezes. They're playing it right, they need the freezes. Still none. I feel like just give them one at this point. I could even side scald my own Gudra if I want to get unthawed. And we finally connect, good game. Cool team, I respect ice teams. And you had Bolt, which was super scary. That was a good team. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like Bolt Beam. They got all the ice types and a strong electric attacker. That makes sense. Very cool. Need a card, though. Okay. Uh, Torn Archaladon. A random Indeedee. Urshifu Fluttermane Ogre Pond. Last time I saw an Archaladon, I tried to beat it with Moltres, and it just got too strong too quick. Maybe the play is Gudra, but Moltres seems good against Ndidi because it has the spread move. They have an Urshifu, they absolutely have Rain Dance, but that doesn't tell me which Urshifu that is. Rain Dance plus Ogre Pond actually would threaten Moltres even through all my screens. So it has to be a Gudra game. It has to be. I have no choice. It's a Gudra game. Screens should be easy to get up. And I have to get screens up because our Chaladon is going to be terrifying. Sinistra is good into the Ogre Pond and Water Urshifu if it's Water Urshifu. Redirecting our Chaladon moves could work too. But I don't really want any of my fourth Pokemon. I guess I want my Lottie. Maybe I want Moltres? No. Not without Terra. Uh, maybe I could have saved Terra for Moltres. But I think my Lottie's the, the right last. I don't know for sure that that's right. Oh, cool card. I like her. I like her a lot. Hopefully I have the right four. I know it's Gudra. I know Gudra is absolutely correct. But bad things could still happen to Gudra. Alright, I have to shelter and I have to light screen. I have to hope they don't have taunt. If they just have taunt, can I win? It will be really hard to win if they just taunt here. But sometimes you have to take those risks. Close team sheet. Okay, that's almost as scary. They're just gonna start electro shotting. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, next turn, you're just gonna Terra away from the body press weakness, aren't you? That does too much. Like, I guess I could parting shot out into Sinistra, take an Electro shot there, but, oh my goodness. It's probably a Bleak Wind Storm, too. I'll go ahead and throw the Body Press now. And I'll parting shot now. Ah, yeah, they're gonna Terra. It's gonna be like Fairy or Ghost. 
You always want a Terra that resists fighting. Electric? Sinistra might die to that. <laughs> oh good, it's Protect Torn. I love that. Okay, yeah, get you back down to neutral. And get my Sinistra in here. Um, plus two body press into our Chaladon. Now that they're electric. It's not going to do half. They're going to get stamina, and then I'm going to be in trouble. This is going to hurt. But at least it's only plus one through light screen resisted. That does so much damage. Please tell me I do a lot. At least they're not stamina. One thing went my way. They are not stamina. I shelter up again. There's no way I do anything but go into Grimmsnarl here. Ugh, sorry, Sinistra. Like, I wanted to Terra it to try to, like, take a Bleak Wind, but who knows? They might just Electroshot into it or Draco Meteor into it. Icy Wind. Interesting. I don't really care much about that. Draco Meteor into Kudra. Okay. Okay. No, that's good. That's really good. Thank you. How weak are you now? Only minus one. I'm gonna shelter up to max. Maybe I should parting shot Torn. Especially because I'm going into Sinistra. Yeah. They, like, they could block it, but that's not going to get them too much momentum. Um, I'm, I like that I've saved Terra this far. Because I might, might want Terra on Milotic. Because a Milotic Gudra endgame is the endgame. Okay, good. They let me do that. They're clearly going to go for Bleak Wind Storm here. You can knock out my Sinistra. My Sinistra has done its job. It stalled out long enough to get the shelters up, and it's healing up Gudra. That is what Sinistra's for. Sinistra can do well in a game where it never clicks an attack. Just Icy Wind. I'm going to keep Sinistra. Unless you go Draco into that slot. I think he would electroshot that slot, if anything. Yeah, you're back to neutral, but like, so? Sinistra's still alive. Mudra's at max. You have Icy Wind. Tailwind, Protect, presumably Bleak Wind Storm. Have they thrown Bleak Wind Storm yet? I don't think so. You're at minus one special attack anyway. I mean, the rain is up. Oh, last turn. Yeah, it's absolutely time to body press our Chaladon. I think it's time to give up Sinistra. Going into Grim is fine, too. But, like, if they don't hit Sinistra for whatever reason and I get Trick Room, I'm in a hugely good position. Hugely. Is hugely a word? Sinistra says yes. Sinistra says hugely is a word. Swapping Torn, that's the kind of way, uh, that I might be able to get Trick Room up. 
Draco Meteor into Gudra? Okay. I get Trick Room. Thank you. And I can Life do away that damage. I can Heavy Slam your Fluttermane. I can do whatever I want. You don't have Terra left. This is a good position. Thank you, Sinistra. It may have taken me like eight turns to get set up. Rain stop. Five turns. It took me five turns to get here, but I am now set up and ready to go. And I didn't see a booster on Fluttermane, so it's probably Specs. So it needs to go. Now, probably Life Dew is my best bet. I'd be tempted to throw a Matcha Gacha depending on what comes in. Oh, disconnect? Is that one my fault? No, I was winning! Okay, I'm back below 1600 again now because I got a disconnect and it was on my end. I was totally gonna win that though. Ah. Uh. Okay, Trick Room, Blood Moon Bear, Torkoal, Iron Hands, and Torner Shoe. Whatever. Well, not whatever. That's ter Blood Moon Bear is terrifying. The only way to handle Blood Moon Bear is to have Light Screen up. But I have to be careful to not parting shot. Uh, Torkoal, big threat as well. Need Light Screen up for that. I don't have a resist, really. I mean, my lot could be in Center War, but. Terra on Sinistra, maybe. Sinistra seems important because I could potentially reverse Trick Room. The question is, if, is, is it a Moltres game? If I go Moltres, I have to hold Terra. I don't know, or is it a Gudra game? Milotic stalling out Trick Room with Life Deuce seems nice. Need Light Screen. I think I'd go Moltres. I'd go Sinistra. I'd go Milotic. Yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> oh boy. This is gonna be a tough one. This is a tough matchup. They've got a really strong, aggressive, offensive team. And this team does not like dealing with burst damage like that. Oh, good good shot. With the sunset there? Over the ocean? You had to like wait for that. Mono Ferreira. And Ferrigarat. Maybe I hard into Sinistra and protect. No, I want to play risky. I can't let them set the pace of this game. I'm going to bring in Sinistra to try to reverse the trick room immediately, and I'm just going to set up a nasty plot. That's extremely risky. They could just, like, supercell slam Oko my Moltres. I don't think they usually do. Wild Charge might do it. No, I think I could live a Wild Charge. Let's fake out into the Sinistra. Let's go. Let's go. That's so good. And they set up Trick Room. Fine. Fine. I'm gonna protect and reverse it. Reverse, reverse! Protect, protect. I'm a target. Next turn I can attack because I can like rage powder away anything Iron Hands wants to do. Unless they have Ice Punch, Fire Punch. Even Heavy Slam would do a lot. Helping Hand. Are they going after Sinistra? Is that what this is? Because you have to be aware that I could just Rage Powder here. Ooh, it's Ice Punch! Oh, it's in the Moltres! Yes! Yes! Excellent. I'm 
Matcha Gacha. How about Terra Fiery Rat? This combo might be able to knock out their Farigarath. I don't think a plus two Fiery Wrath will on its own. But it protects me from the Ice Punch. And... Yeah, I think it's the way to go. They're going for a Terra as well. Presumably for Rigraph to lift Wrath. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna stop your Trick Room. Oh, it's Fire? Um... And that's better to see than Fairy, actually. So I'll take it. I'll still deal decent damage with my Wrath. Yeah, it wasn't gonna knock out anyway. You were fine. You were fine. Oh, Iron Hands dodges? That was gonna take a lot more damage. Let's see if you got a berry for Rigorath. You do. Okay. Nice punch. Not too bad. I mean, now they try to double Sinistra, right? <laughs> As I try to undo the Trick Room once again. I don't even think they attack Moltres. Good little chip with the Rocky Helmet. Oh, they imprisoned my Trick Room Trick Room! Yo, that's sick. That was sick, okay. Uh, I guess I could life do protect. I could swap protect, set up a screen. Life do protect. I can protect. Yeah, I, I need to slow down. If I, I'm gonna get out of Trick Room, it's gonna be playing it slow. They ice punch the correct slot, and it knocks out this time! Low roll, high roll. Gotcha. That's annoying. Alright, show me your psychic move. I know you got one. It's just psychic. Okay. Yeah, I gotta bring in Grimmsnarl now. Can I take Psychic and Wild Charge if I set up Light Screen? I haven't triggered my berry yet, so I think so. Do I want to? Two turns of Trick Room up. Oh yeah, that's fine. This is the turn to do it. Light Screen, Fiery Wrath, Moltres, it all rides on this turn. If you can take this double up, we should be able to win. Oh, it is Supercell Slam! Ow! Okay, we eat that. We get the Berserk. We get the Berry. We have to eat a light... We have to eat a light screen... Psychic. With 82 HP. That might not be doable. I don't know. We do! Moltres! Moltres, you're amazing! Okay, uh, we're not out of the woods. I mean, we don't know what they have left, but we should be able to get out of Trick Room. And maybe launch one more hit. Hopefully they're slower than Moltres with who they have left. Oh no, it's Urshifu, they're faster. Oh, they're faster and slower. That's the worst combination. Okay. I'm going to Spirit Break the Urshifu. I think I Spirit Break Urshifu and Protect Moltres. If Urshifu is attacking... I don't think they can Oko Grimmsnarl. If Urshifu is attacking, 
that they'll get hit. Ugh, it's a tough situation. They have something faster than Moltres and slower than Moltres in the back. Okay, they are just attacking. I get the spirit break off. Live on Sash. That's fine. It wasn't a sucker punch, though, so I probably lose Moltres. They just Blood Moon. Doesn't get the KO. Their Life Orb. Interesting. Ah, and they just double into Grim. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I could have attacked with Moltres there? Man. Twisted Dimensions are now normal. Now, obviously, they would attack Moltres with Urshifu. Which means I have to ta attack Urshifu with my Lottic. They can't afford to protect. Yeah, I get to Scald Urshifu because there's no way they can afford to protect here. And I know my Lottic can take a Blood Moon. Hopefully, it can take a Hyper Voice into Blood Moon. Yeah, if they protect Urshifu, they're in big trouble. They just go for Sucker Punch, that's fine, you didn't have to. But maybe they're a slower Urshifu, they weren't sure if they were faster than Moltres or not. They're fast? Wait, did, did their Blood Moon just just go before my Lottic? They were fast? Oh, that's so bad. I think I just lost. That was 90 power. Did. 70-ish damage. 140 power should do a little over 100 damage. Oh, and then I'll eat my berry. Oh, we might be able to do it. Oh, it's gonna be so close. Wiki berry range, wiki berry range, wiki berry range. Yes! Now they have life orb, so they have protect. This skull has to KO. If this skull doesn't KO, we lose. Yes, it gets it! Yes, my Lodic! Woo! Oh, man. Good game. That was a tough one. You just brought some scary stuff. And imprison Ferrigarath on a Trick Room team to stop the reverse? That was so sick. Alright, here we are with another match. Thinking about that last match, I think they weren't actually a Trick Room team because they had Imprison and Fast Bear. They were a Tailwind team, and they just went Trick Room mode against me. Uh, but we've got Ninetales Articuno, Arcanine, Ogre Pond, Raging Bolt, and Landorus. This is all terrifying. I'm so scared. Moltres cannot do it. Moltres would have to Terra and be weak to Lando. It's gotta have a Gudra. It's not a bad Gudra game. Obviously, Raging Bolt is always a problem. Landorus is always a problem. I gotta bring Milotic. I gotta bring Sinistra. Do I have to bring Sinistra? Does Incineroar do anything for me that Sinistra doesn't? Because I like Sinistra, but everything hits it so hard. And going Terra Water doesn't help me much if they just have Freeze Dry and Ogre Pond and Thunder Clapping. I guess it's Incineroar. Don't like having two ground weaknesses with me. Oh, I don't know. I'm going Incineroar because it can actually do something against Raging Bolt. Whether it be Parting Shot, Taunt, Fake Out. Sinistra doesn't do much. It can Rage Powder, I guess. I would want to Terra it in this match, but I also want to Terra Gudra, maybe. So, this is a game that would be great if I could bring five. I think I can handle this with five. Four is going to be tough. Oh, a shiny Primarina, and a good shot. You went to a good location for that. Good card. Respect. 
Ninetales the Great, and Arcanine the former Alpha. I've got Gudra the Great. We got some big guys. Alright, Ninetales is faster than Arcanine. It's not a Scarf Arcanine. This isn't too bad. This is a Shelter Reflect turn. Just get my defense sky high. <sighs> if that's Will-O-Wisp Arcanine, I kind of lose. I don't see a way I can win if they have Will-O-Wisp Arcanine. So that's my biggest fear, is that that's a Will-O-Wisp Arcanine. Oh, they just straight Moonblast Grim. That did a lot of damage. Okay, I'm not getting light screen. Maybe I should have gone light screen first? I don't know. Yeah, but the fact that that's just flare blitzing, that's great. I'm fine with that. Do I want to go straight melodic? Or incineroar first? I think incineroar first is fine. Get Intimidate down on that Arcanine is nice. Threatening Ninetales is also very nice. I'll get up another Shelter and I will... Terra Water could work. Depends on who they have in the back. Uh, I anticipate a swap from Arcanine at this point, so I want to actually just straight up Parting Shot that slot. Yeah, that's what I want to do here. Like swapping that into Landorus or something could be a good play here. Yep, it's out of here. Sometimes I can make a read into Ogre Pond. And they just set Veil. That's fine. Don't care too much about your Veil. I'm annoyed that I only got Reflect. And I'm going to show you that my Lotic is my last. Well, it shouldn't be too hard to get up to plus six on Gudra. And I should go for it. So I'm just going to do that. I'm not too worried about a minus one grass move through Reflect, but also... What can my Lotic do here? Might just swap back into Incineroar. Like, maybe you read that, maybe you don't. But now your Ogre Pond's minus two. Yeah, it's just a Horn Leech. Okay, good play. And a Moon Blast. Okay, they do seem to care about deleting everything that isn't Gudra. That seems to be their strategy. Delete everything else. Oh, I think I'm going to throw a heavy slam at Nine Tails now. And I'll just fake out Ogre Pond. I don't want, like, Ivy Cudgel crit into Ensign. They just spiky shield, that's fine. Stalling out your own uh, screens. That's fine by me. Incineroar is taking chip. A lot of chip. This Incineroar gets worn down a lot. Like, safety goggles helps in certain matchups, but I almost never get it in next to Sinistra or uh, Milotic. So it's kind of annoying. Uh, would Body Press KO from here? I'm gonna switch to Body Press. Oh, right, I was intimidated, that's why I did so little. Yeah, body press should KO from here now. And I'll just go back into my Lottic. Is this an easy read for them to throw a grass move? Sure, but whatever. And once the Nine Tails is gone. Oh no, I can't go Terra Grass, they have Arcanine. Oh no, you got the read. Good job. 
Aw, uh, no drop? I was hoping for a drop there. Can't really safely bring in Arcanine. This is the thing. Snow is gone. They should still have Veil, though. Because they set they didn't set that up turn one. And they might be like, but... Articuno. Okay. The Gorgeous Royal. Reflect is up. Aurora Veil might be on its last turn. I'm gonna body press the Articuno. No, do I go into Incin? Yes. It's a hard call, because like, I'm a little worried about like Specs Freeze Dry or something. They could ob obviously Freeze Dry and Cudgel just to cover for this. But I'm surprised Ogre Pond has stayed in this long. I guess they don't want to bring Arcanine in. Okay, just to follow me. They'd rather me delete that instead. It should be a two-shot. They throw sheer cold. Good to know that you're committing to that. Body press Articuno. Fake out Articuno. That feels like to me that it is the specs set. Get the fake out. They do go for follow me, fine. One more turn that you can't cheer cold me. Is your veil gone yet? Now the question is, do I want to bring in my Lottic here? On this, the last... Oh, they got two more turns of Aurora Veil. I could protect Gudra pretty easily. If I swap in my Lottic, I don't know what move they would click here. Maybe just Rock Slide. I think my Lottic could take that to Wintergary range. I do like that. I like Protect. Bring in Milo. Now that they're on their last two, if they run out of sheer colds and are in fact specs, they're be they're gonna be in big trouble. And I should be able to Oko Arcanine with a body press. Oh, they head smash! Nice play. Huge recoil though. No, I think that's great, though. Now I get to fake out Body Press into Articuno. Arcanine, if it is in fact locked into that, is never going to be able to hit Gudra. They have not used Terra yet. But I don't think it's important for them to. Uh, unfortunately, Veil is still up for one turn. Body press Articuno. Fake out Articuno. Just block one more sheer cold. Okay, now they go for Terra. I guess it's Arcanine, maybe? Ghost Arcanine. Yeah, that's fine. I wasn't going to fake you out. So this was the right play. Gudra will still win against that in the end. Yep, they connect their head smashes too. But I expected you to connect head smash. I think Rock Slide might have been better for you just to get flinches to try to get more sheer cold chances. I hope this is enough, but it won't be. Okay. I've blocked enough sheer colds that I can't just protect here. Do I lose anything from going for protect? I don't. 
don't see any downside, so I'm going to just in case maybe they don't have PP Max on their Sheer Colts. Yeah, they're head smashing. They must be choice banned. And it is just another Sheer Colt. Okay. 70% of the time, I win right here. That number is not high enough for my comfort. Head Smash does nothing. Sure, it does not connect. Thank you. Good game. Gudra, you are the king of dodging Oko moves. Like, I get that there were only, like, four thrown in this game, but... In this GC, you've been targeted by a lot. And you have never succumbed to it. You are amazing. Now we just heavy slam. Even though we're at minus two, it'll KO eventually. And it is good game. In fact, they might KO themselves with head smash eventually. Like, I have leftovers. I could just protect every turn. <laughs> But no, no, I get a crit and it's over. Good game. And that was a good game. Sure cold was the play. I'm, I'm glad I brought Incineroar though. Those fake outs really helped me avoid some of those sure colds. Good game. All right, we're back with the rental code. If you liked this video, which you probably did if you made it this far, go ahead and don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'm Jordy. And uh, all right. Peace.